What the go on, my peeps? What the go on? What is happening? Listen, you guys pull me out of retirement. You know I had retired my voice because I got tired talking. But you guys pulled me right out of retirement. Everybody is saying, oh, we miss the talking. We miss your voice. To hell with the AI. Do away with the AI. Listen, I cannot do away with my AI. It saves my voice, okay? But in any event, today I'm out of retirement. I don't know about tomorrow, but today, you all got me. But what are we going to talk about today? We're talking about this Tasha K, honey. Tasha K, my girl. Oh, Tasha K. It looks like if Tasha K put her foot in it. Correction. She put both feet. She put her hands, her mouth, her eyes, her whole body in it. Because the girl is in trouble, okay? She told on herself. You guys remember back in december and even before then she was bragging that oh i ain't got it and then we saw her over there in africa when she went on vacation for about a month i think it was a month she was on vacation and she was in front of the bank saying she in she only had a certain amount of money and she was just braggadocious well you know she told on herself and the shit has hit the fan now. Forgive my ebonics for those of you who have never heard that SHIT has hit the fan. That Cardi B's attorneys allegedly looked at those tapes, took note, and did their own little private eye investigation. Because you know when they're looking for stuff, they can find stuff even offshore. Okay, that African bank is considered offshore. And I don't know why in the hell Tasha K. I don't know. She said she didn't make it through high school and she stopped in the ninth grade or eighth or seventh or some grade. Don't quote me on it, but she stopped before she graduated high school. Listen. Tasha K needs to go back to high school, okay? Because if the these are the moves that she has been making, and everybody knows they are false moves. They're not the right moves, okay, Tasha? You do not tell on yourself, especially when you're in court and you got all this money to pay, $4 million, and you going over there bragging that, oh, you only got it, you only got 2000 in the bank or two dollars or whatever it is she said she had in the bank i can't even remember it's been so long she had this money in the bank and she was giving it away to the first couple of people 20 people who, whoever uh hit her up first and looked at the video first would get the money that's that's the gist of what was going on and she ain't had it and she ain't got it but guess what if you said you have it and got it and you had this you have this big YouTube platform bringing all this money. And they see where you shady with your business that just before the ruling of the judge, you start transferring money into your, your son's name, your, your husband's name, properties, transferring into your niece, your car, your houses. And then you're going over there to Africa saying you ain't got it and you're in front of the bank and and you braggadocia that uh, Cardi ain't getting a penny and, and they did that digging and saw that you had all this money. They said she had upward to about $800,000. Don't quote me on it. All right, don't quote me. I'm gonna deny I said it, okay? And then all of a sudden you got zero in your bank. Where all this money went to and then they see where you transfer properties just before the ruling now that's not the smartest thing to do you don't got to be an einstein to know that the government is going to figure it out the, the lawyer is going to figure it out the judge going to figure it out okay you're not smarter than these people these people went through law school and there's nobody more crooked at, than some of these lawyers out there. They know all the angles, okay, to get out of scrapes. 
and you cannot outmaneuver them. In any event, Tasha thought she was smart. She got her little attorney and they must have figured out how to hide stuff. Now, I can't put it on the attorney. I got to take that back. It must have been Tasha and her husband cooking up the books and putting their heads together and figuring out stuff. Well, I guess they figured wrong. Because everybody under the sun, or unless you're living on a rock, everybody figured it out. Okay? Back in December, everybody knew she was going to be hiding funds, allegedly. And when I say back in December, I'm not talking about this past December. I'm talking about this December before that and the December before that. So we're talking about a good two, three years ago. And it takes these people time to dig up stuff. But guess what? They do dig it up. And it didn't take long for, for Cardi B's attorneys, the lawyers... The IRS, the judge, and everybody else to figure it out. So I don't know if your girl Tasha is going to have to do some jail time over this. Because I know Tasha is not going to give up a penny. Because she claims she ain't got it, right? So I don't know. Tasha may have to do some jail time like Lauren Hill. If you're trying to hide funds, you might have to do some jail time. So I don't know Tasha K. I think I think Tasha got to go back to uh, to high school and complete high school or do a GED or something. Did she ever complete her GED at least? I don't know. But well, looks like if something ain't right, something is up with Tasha that she could tell on herself. And then bad bragging for months that she ain't paying Cardi a penny. Well, you know, when, you, when you're when you wrong, you cannot be strong at the same time. But she was wrong and strong. She dragged this woman's name in the mud. And then when the judgment came down and she had to pay, she said she ain't paying squat and they can't make her. Um, look, I'm, this, that's it in a nutshell. Not her words exa exactly, but that's what I concluded what she meant that she ain't paying squat and they can't get it from her while her sis couldn't drag it out of her but guess what you're dealing with the IRS and let me tell you <laughs> take it from me they're worse than wild horses they will throw you behind them bars so fast and throw the keys away and if you die owing them money, they dig your corpse up, okay? And hold your corpse. Put you in an unmarked grave as revenge. Listen, listen, don't mess with the IRS. Them people are nasty. I'm sorry. The government is the biggest mob around, okay? You don't mess with them. It's worse than Al Capone, all right? Any event, that's Tasha K. And, uh... She's kind of quiet now with everything that's going on in, with her. But she can be quiet all she wants to be. Um, these uh, mainstream news sources are digging up the tea on her. Because all these attorneys are contacting these news sources and reporting what they have done. And allegedly, one of the attorneys for Cardi B or a couple of them contacted these new sources to say that they found this money allegedly and we gotta stay tuned as what's gonna happen i wonder how much money they found because somebody was telling me she got like eight hundred thousand close to a million dollars i don't know i know she got money she done did her teeth they're too big though is that something i meant to talk about and I wish Tasha had called me to ask me if she should get the small, medium, or large teeth. I would have said, girl, get something to suit your face. Don't go by what the dentist is telling you. They're going to try to sell you what they can't sell other people. And usually those are the big teeth, okay? Tasha teeth looks a 
tad bit too big for her face. I'm sorry to say. They're nice and white. As a matter of fact, they're too white. Teeth ain't supposed to be that white. When it's that white, it always looks kind of peculiar to me. But I guess, you know, that's a new thing. When, when it's white, like a, like a paper. Because T.I. said his son took a paper in and showed the dentist and said, that's how I want my teeth. White like this paper. And I guess everybody's following the same thing. Tasha must have gotten her little piece of paper and took it to the dentist and say, make my teeth this white. Because her teeth is white like paper. But they're a little too big. Like T.I.'s son. His teeth too big too. But his face, his little face. Don't go by what the dentist is telling you. You got to look at your face and say, you know, them teeth too big for my face. I'm sorry. Give me the medium sized ones. So Tasha should have called your girl. You should have hit your girl up and asked me. And I would have told you, giving you good advice. Don't fire what they said. Don't, don't listen to your dentist, girl. You put the teeth in, them false teeth that they're going to give you to see if it suits you. You try on a couple because they're going to give you only like two choices. But you try on like you you try like 10, 15 of them suckers in your mouth to see which one fits you well. But she gotta go and uh now put herself in expense and shave them teeth down. Cause they're too big. They beginning to look like horse teeth. I'm sorry. Sorry, Tasha. In any event, who else is on the docket today? I got my little roster here talking about a few people since y'all pulled me out of retirement and got me straining my voice to talk. My 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 AI was a okay in my book. It was doing the job, you know. The AI do all the talking for you. And you don't gotta strain your voice. And now I'm getting hoarse and I'm gonna start coughing and getting out of breath. All my sinuses is acting up. That's what you guys pull me out to torture me. Any event, who else is on the doctor? Yeah, this Neo. Let's talk about Neo. Anyway, Neo, Neo's wife, honey, she got out there and she said Neo is like P. Diddy. He uh, is uh, uh, F O N people. What is it? The free coughs. She said he constant free coughs in the house. With the children in the house, prostitutes coming and going, and this all alleged now. Don't get me in trouble. I ain't said it. That uh, Neil's wife said it. Prostitutes coming and going. He ain't got no respect for the house. He ain't got no respect for her, the kids. And then he body slammed her, threw her down. I guess she must open up her mouth and put her foot down. That's what happens when you allow this type of behavior to continue. And then you can't take it no more. You know, some of these celebrities say, you know, we married and we're going to go to a divorce because I don't want you no more. You live on that side of the house and I live on this side of the house. And I bring whoever it is I want to bring. I'm a, And you don't have nothing to say about it. And you can bring whoever you want to bring. Let me tell you something. Not every woman is going to put up with it. Oh, they may say, oh, yeah, okay. You do you and I do me. All right? That's the that's saying. You do you and I do me. How long you think that's going to last? I don't know where this woman is from that he married, but if she's Caribbean or West Indian or a Southern woman, shit is going to go down. She ain't going to stand for that mess too long when you see all these beautiful women coming and going and you and your rollers and your head bonnet. And you got on some flip flops and your robe, and you see them pow, pow, pow in every which direction. Everything is right on point. The boobs, the zillion butt, and the liposuction got their bodies all tight. You can put up with that, and you got your kids looking and say, Well, what daddy doing today? Oh, he got a new girlfriend coming in. How long do you think that's gonna last? Anyway, she decided to open up her mouth. I guess that's the way it went. I'm just saying. Because for him to body slam her, she said, and throw her to the ground, she must have put her foot down. And what did she do when she finally put her foot down after putting up with it for so long? She put her foot in her mouth, and he put his foot up her 
a dollar dollar and now she complaining well you shouldn't have put up with it from day one that's what i say if the man wants to step out on you and he wants the marriage to be over and he tells you it's a big old house you can live on one side i live on the other and we can go our separate ways under the same roof and you date you do you i do me you date whoever and i date whoever don't fall for it don't go for it okay because what's gonna happen he's gonna bring in whoever he wants to bring in to date and sleep with whoever he wants to and that is a direct disrespect to you and then when he don't have nobody to bring in guess what he's gonna try to creep right in the middle of the night do his little creeping on you in the meantime in between time you don't know what kind of diseases he has picked up along the way so it's never a good idea to stay on the same roof under the same roof as somebody you you supposed to be going to a divorce with because he can try to creep okay the best thing to do is move the hell out or he move out because you're the one with the children because usually the mothers are the nurturers and the nurturers should not have to move when they have a bunch of kids and the judge will tell you that you don't have to move the man if push come to shove you sell the house and split the the, the you know the proceeds or the man moves and leave you and the kids in the home that's the way it go and then he was the one cheating too Oh, she fell for it. Hood, line, and sinker. He bamboozled her into falling for it. And now she can't take it. He body slammed her. And then she said, Oh, you're going to be the next P. Diddy. We're going to hear about you. Well, we already know about him. So she had to make no threats. It was rumored that he got a bunch of girlfriends. That's why he went through all them divorces. So what is new? And all the uh, women he got coming and going, she called them prostitutes and hoes. But that's what bitter exes or soon-to-be exes say about their spouses, right? All the women are hoes. And it might be a nice wholesome girl coming in. And these women may not know each other. And each one of them think that they are the shits and they're the cats meow. And oh, it's only me because that's what he's going to tell them. And they don't know he's got a whole line of women. So she's busy calling all of them hoes. But she don't know them from Adam. Right? She don't know these women. She don't know if they truly are women of the night or what. So that's where we stand with Miss, Mr. Neil and his uh, significant other. Who else we got on the docket today? I'm just sick and tired of all of them, to tell you the truth. Especially that P. Diddy. That P. Diddy would have given me a heart attack if I was talking when all the shenanigans was going down. I swear, what I had to say, I'm so thankful I put on the AI to tell the story because let me tell you, P. Diddy and his sons are a mess. Now, the new thing about P. Diddy, I don't know if you guys heard that he's working for the feds, allegedly, because uh, when Donald Trump's son, Donald Trump Jr., had his interview with DJ Academics about a week and a half ago, he was telling Academics that one of the reasons that he suspects that P. Diddy was having all them people in his houses at these parties and having the SEX rooms full of people and doing orgies and knocking out these guys one at a time and lining them up and hitting them, you know, left, right, and center, and especially from the behind, okay? If you know what I mean. is because he was lining them up for the feds. If he can do some type of gay stuff with them and they're supposed to be manly men married with children some of them i claim to be straight 
if he can get them in a compromising position, he can hold those tapes over their heads for them to cooperate with law enforcement. So they said he's in with the feds, cooperated with the feds, and they know what he was doing all this time. And that's why he was never arrested for anything he has done. But they said, allegedly, that he is in with the feds, working with the feds, aligning all these people in the industry, not only rappers, but people in government, jobs, high officials, princesses, and prince, like Prince Harry. They said the princesses were up in there too. And he's got cameras in every room, according to Rod or Rodney. Every room had a camera. So whatever it is you were doing was being recorded. So I'm, I'm sure all them people are thinking, oh my God, I remember doing X, Y, and Z. I hope I wasn't on camera. Yes, you were on camera. If you were in any one of them rooms doing the jump off or the freaky dicky or the FOs or whatever it is they're calling it these days, freak offs, you were on camera. Candid camera. It's going to be a surprise when you see your face on that camera when this all hit the fan and goes to court. I'm sure the judge is going to look at those cameras in his uh, chamber. It's not going to be shown for the jurors to see. I'm sure, especially if it got to do with Harry and these princesses and these government officials. But they got a lot to worry about and i gotta say trump jr also said the reason why that raid went down he suspects that either that he suspects that they did that raid to seize the evidence people in high government jobs and you know in in very High positions don't want those tapes to get out. And so they conducted this raid like if they were going to arrest somebody. But really, it wasn't to arrest anybody. It was to get a hold of the tapes before they leaked out. That's on one hand. On the other hand, Trump Jr. said Didi might have been recording all these people because he's working with a foreign government. Now, that's what he saw. It could be that he was working with a foreign government with the, when he had the princesses and the prince over, like Prince Harry partying and these princesses partying and God knows whoever else in government. Those tapes... According to Trump Jr., if he's working with a foreign government, the foreign government can hold those tapes over those people's heads. And for them to and they can turn them into spies that way. A lot of times that's how they get these uh, people to turn into spies for them because they have them in compromising positions that they can hold over their head and say, listen, if you don't work for us, we're going to show this to the world. And then that's how these people get turned. So that's on the other hand. So you got two scenarios here. Either he was working with a foreign government to entrap some of these people in high, uh, these high officials, princes and, and, and prince. And then on the other hand, he was trying to entrap these rappers and all these other people because he was in with the FBI working for our government. So it's, you know, it's left up to interpretation. I say maybe he was doing both. Maybe he was doing both. Maybe he struck a deal with the feds to stay out of jail if he can get these people in compromising position. And then maybe he got a call from some foreign national, you know, a nationalist somewhere, some government somewhere. That if he works with them, that, he, you know, this, this is your incentive. But you got to lose. We got this over your head. We know that you did this, this, and this. Because they got stuff over him. This trial 
child trafficking thing that's going on right now that they say he might have traffic on the age kids maybe that's what they were holding over his head that forced him to now have all these fo's parties and videotape all these people child all i gotta say it's a mess it's a mess but we know what happened to jeffrey epstein and they took him out in jail allegedly so diddy got to be very very careful that he don't get taken out also because if this is true what trump jr said with his theory of why they raided the mansion because when you are raiding if you think about it folks if you're gonna raid a house and and you got evidence already and you're looking for more evidence more evidence is just icing on the cake you got enough to arrest somebody but nobody was arrested because the evidence they had was from all these people saying that you know he forced them to do this that and the third like cassie so they had that on tape but they needed like hard drive and computer and stuff because these folks who are into all this fo's they always keep something to remember certain events certain situations they don't get rid of all the tapes okay and in your computer you may erase stuff but it's still it's still in the computer right it's still in the hardware there's there, it's a signature that the feds can get all the experts the computer experts to dig up that stuff out of the computer you think you erased it but it's still there so whoever was in on the fo's they really got to worry about if they engaged not the fact that they were involved because they're adults but they got to worry if they engage in any fo's with with young adults teenagers that's what they got to worry about if they cross the line and did any acts with a teenager uh, because i suspect if diddy goes down for it a whole lot of people are going to go down with him and a lot of people are saying jay-z's mighty quiet he ain't saying much i wonder why now jaguar wright had a lot to say about jay-z and she's been saying that for years we know this She's been beating that dead horse for years about Jay-Z. And I think she's salty about Jay-Z's because she was in the picture with Jay-Z when Beyonce was young. A young teenager and Jaguar thought she had a chance with Jay-Z. There's nothing worse than a scorned woman. And I think what happened, listen, I don't know for sure. This is just me talking off, off the fly, okay? I don't know for sure. But I suspect Jaguar hates his guts to this day because he rejected her. And he went for Beyonce. So that's why I think she's always going after him. But in any event, be that as it may, I don't know for sure if she even liked him or consider him that way but that's what i think but they say he would be the next after p diddy to go down because let's face it he was going out with teenage girls when he was in his late 20s 27 i think it was 27 when he met beyonce and she was what she said she was 18 right she said she was 18 but the record shows according to a lot of people she was actually 16 when she met him and she said they didn't do anything until she turned 18 or and started to date and a lot of people are questioning that and then there's foxy brown foxy brown was only about 15 when she and jay was allegedly don't know for sure either because he's quiet about his relationships honey he's a he's a hit and, and run kind of guy 
all right he takes them out then moves on to the next she was only about 15 that foxy brown when we saw her on stage gyrating and accent so grown and we thought she was actually about 18 that girl was only about 15 and she and jay-z was allegedly dating so he's not out of the radar when it comes to uh the feds coming after all these men who were going out to these young girls back in the day but i don't think foxy is going to come forth and say anything because allegedly they say she's on his payroll he paying her to keep quiet don't know how true it is either you know everything is alleged until these people testify but there's always somebody in their circle to spill the, the, the beans and then wait until the official statements come out from these people. He thought he was covering himself when he did that. But it's still considered illegal and our word because Aaliyah was only 15 years old at the time and he had no business sleeping with no 15 year old girl. Not when you're 27 and you, you know, just uh, taking advantage so R. Kelly got away when it came to Aaliyah, but then other girls came forward and said that he did some stuff to them also. And that's why he, he's sitting in jail today. So R. Kelly didn't even try to hide the fact that he was going after these underage girls. He would just pull up at the high schools and pick them up in McDonald's. How brazen. But apparently that was the climate back in those days before the Me Too generation and the Me Too movement. But a lot of these guys are running scared now. We saw what Russell Simmons did. He moved over there to Bali because he is in danger of being incarcerated also. So that was the climate back in those days with all these guys. So Jay-Z is not there exception like if he didn't do anything he's not squeaky clean he also partook in these uh young people dating these grown men 20 plus 30 plus dating these 15 16 and 17 year old girls so a lot of these guys are keeping quiet because they want to fly low under the radar they don't want to be in the spotlight because they're guilty as hell too i'm gonna keep saying alleged because i don't want nobody coming after me okay i ain't got it like tasha k said i ain't got it so keep on trucking don't park your, your truck stop over here i ain't got it what else i want to talk about well i'm into 30 minutes of this video already that's that's talking 30 minutes non-stop my throat is getting dry and parsh i gotta go drink something drink some water probably i'll catch you all on the next one thank you for watching